Hi, I'm the History Guy. I have a degree in history and I love history. And if you love history too, this is the channel for you. In 1973, the Italian submarine Enrique Tazzoli was sold for scrap for the bargain basement price of $100,000. And that just seems an injustice, because that submarine, a Gatto-class submarine that had been given to the Italian Navy by the United States in 1953, was an extraordinary submarine who had seen some of the most extraordinary service of the Second World War. And so the amazing record of the Enrique Tizzole, otherwise known as the USS Barb, the only US warship to invade the Japanese home islands and the only known submarine in US service to sink a freight train, deserves to be remembered. The USS Barb, named after a species of fish called the Barbos, was a Gato-class diesel-electric submarine built by the General Dynamics Electric Boat Company of Groton, Connecticut. It was laid down in June of 1941 and commissioned July of 1942. It was 311 feet 9 inches long, displaced 1,525 long tons when surfaced, it had a maximum speed of 21 knots, a range of 11,000 miles, a crew of six officers and 54 enlisted, and was armed with 10 torpedo tubes, six forward and four aft. The record of the USS Barb cannot be separated from the extraordinary man who commanded the submarine's last five war patrols of the war. Eugene B. Flucky, better known as Lucky Flucky, was one of the most gifted submarine skippers of the Second World War. He was a meticulous planner and a daring officer who had a bold and innovative vision for how a combat submarine should be used. A 1935 graduate of the United States Naval Academy, Flucky had served aboard a battleship and a destroyer before completing the Commanding Officer School at Submarine Base New London in Connecticut. In January of 1944, he was given command of the USS Barb. The Barb's record was nothing short of amazing. Among its kills were a Japanese aircraft carrier, a cruiser, and a frigate. The Barb sank 29 enemy vessels just in the period from May of 1944 to August of 1945. According to Japanese records, the USS Barb sank more tonnage of Japanese ships than any other US submarine of the war. On January 8, 1945, the Barb set a record for the U.S. submarine service, sinking six enemy vessels in a single day. One of the most extraordinary submarine raids of the war occurred January 28th of 1945. Flucky used a moonless night to sneak the USS Barb into a shallow, minefield-protected harbor on the China coast that the Japanese had been using to shield their merchant vessels from U.S. submarines. He found 30 enemy vessels anchored there. He fired eight torpedoes and sunk more tonnage of enemy ships in a single attack than any other single U.S. submarine attack of the war. And then he outdashed the pursuit through the minefields and made it back to open sea. The daring attack earned Lucky Flucky his second nickname, the Galloping Ghost of the China Coast. The Navy command's faith in Flucky showed in that they allowed him a rare fifth war patrol commanding the USS Barb. For the most part in the United States Navy, a submarine commander was only allowed four war patrols, after which the Navy decided that they would become either too cautious or too reckless. For this fifth mission, Barb requested that the Navy install five 130 millimeter rocket tubes on the deck of the USS Barb, giving the Barb unprecedented shore bombardment capability for a submarine. While rockets and missiles are commonly fired from submarines today, the USS Barb was the first U.S. Navy submarine to successfully employ rockets, destroying several factories and towns along the coast of Japan. One of the bombardment missions was so effective that the Japanese reported that they thought that they had been bombarded by at least six warships and a submarine. It was on this fifth patrol that Flucky and the USS Barb went on perhaps their most famous raid. Anchored off the coast of Japan, Flucky watched through his periscope as Japanese troop and supply trains moved along a railway along their coast. 
And so on a moonlit night, the USS Barb sent eight sailors in a rubber raft to go on shore and plant 55 pounds of explosives under the tracks, hooked to a detonator that would explode when the weight of the locomotive pushed down on the rail. When the explosive went off, the locomotive flew 200 feet in the air and the entire train crashed down the hill into the ocean. The USS Barb is the only known US submarine of the war to sink a freight train. And the action was the only US land operation on the Japanese home islands in the Second World War. The record of Flucky and the Barb show on the submarine's final battle flag of the war. Flucky himself won the Medal of Honor and an astonishing four Navy Crosses. In addition, the crew won two more Navy Crosses, 23 Silver Stars, 23 Bronze Stars, four Presidential Unit Citations, a Navy Unit Commendation, four Navy and Marine Corps Medals, 82 Letters of Commendation Ribbons, and symbols representing 38 enemy vessels and one locomotive, shown here at the bottom, destroyed. The adventures of the USS Barb were so epic that the president himself, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, asked to be copied on all of Flucky's patrol reports. Once while they were in Hawaii, FDR asked Flucky to drive the Barb at dangerous speeds just so that the president could take a film of the Barb going with all of its banners flapping in the breeze. But in the end, the success of Flucky and USS Barb was not just the luck of Lucky Flucky. He was a meticulous planner. He made very good use of the available intelligence and his own skills of observation. He had a clear and compelling vision of using a submarine as a fast torpedo boat that could submerge to escape, rather than the general doctrine of just lying in wait to attack. To give you an idea of how carefully he planned and managed his crew, when U.S. torpedoes were having troubles with their detonators, he and his crew dismantled the detonators on all of their torpedoes and rebuilt them using stronger springs so that they would be more likely to detonate. In the end, Commander Flucky was successful because he was good at what he did. And perhaps no statistic shows that more clearly than the fact that in five war patrols in the U.S. submarine service, one of the most dangerous services of the war, not one of Flucky's sailors was killed or seriously injured. Eugene B. Flucky eventually rose to the rank of Rear Admiral and served in, among other roles, the role as the Chief of Naval Intelligence. He retired from the Navy in 1972, and he passed away in 2007 at the age of 93. Lucky Flucky, the galloping ghost of the China coast. Gone, but not forgotten. I'm the History Guy, and I hope you enjoyed this edition of my series, Five Minutes of History, short snippets of forgotten history, five to ten minutes long. And if you did enjoy, please go ahead and click that thumbs up button that you see there on your left. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to write those in the comment section, and I will be happy to respond. And if you'd like five minutes more of Forgotten History, all you have to do is click the subscribe button that is there on your right.